All right, good morning. It is another Monday morning. Super excited to be with you on this third week. Just a reminder, you know, my father always reminds me that good teachers are repeaters. You know, in the very first week, we spoke about really approaching the manifest presence of God as an empty tablet. And we said back in the day, the tablet was made of stone, but today the tablet is our heart. And we go into the manifest presence of God with an empty heart so that God will write on it. And that day he wrote the Ten Commandments on the tablet of stone. And today God is still writing instructions on our heart. In our second week, we said when we go into the manifest presence, we go in empty. But one of the keys to changing the very first step is to listen. So I'm going in, God has given an instruction, but I'm very aware that God is speaking. So one of the greatest attributes of someone who's growing spiritually is their ability to hear from God, knowing the difference. Is it my flesh? Is it me? Is it somebody's opinion? Is it something that is just trending in Christianity? Or do I really know the voice of God? Did I really hear from God? Well, today what I want to share with you is, why am I positioning myself to hear? Why did Jesus say to one sister, you know, your sister has chosen the better path. She sits at my feet. Why, why do we want to position ourselves to get closer to him? Why does he say, do not be hearers only, but be doers? It seems like hearing is the first part of the process. Why do I want to hear correctly? Because I want to accurately. The purpose of hearing is bridging the gap between God's lips and my ways. God wants me to do what I hear. You know, in the scripture in Genesis chapter 6 and verse 22, it says, thus Noah did according to all that God commanded him, so he did. You know, I love the story of Noah. The Bible says, you know, God was really uh, disgusted with the entire earth, the way that men were behaving, the way that they were conducting themselves. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. What is it about Noah that allowed him to find favor in the earth, even though when God looked at the entire earth, he was displeased? There was a characteristic about Noah that I want you and I to take and learn as Noah is an example to us today. Noah had the ability to take the instructions that he listened to off of God's lips into his heart and into his actions. You know, in the Caribbean, when you're growing up, uh, there's a phrase that is used when children are not listening. If you don't hear, you will. I can tell that you, you understand a little bit about the Caribbean lingo. Also, when, when you're not hearing, they say, if stick break in your ears. Now, parents love kids who listens. But you know, a parent really knows if a child listens when they see the child doing what they were instructed to do. Can I encourage you today as we wrap this up? We present ourselves in the manifest presence of God. We come in empty so we can leave full. We listen so that God can speak. But the purpose we're going to listen is that we can do. We want to follow Noah's example. The Bible says Noah did all that God commanded. Now, before I close, what are the things that get in the way of us acting? Fair. The lack of faith. I don't know if this is going to work. Genesis chapter 12. Leave your family. Leave your father's house. Leave everything. And go to a land that I would show you. I don't know where I'm going. So I, I failed to do what God instructed me to do. The fear of success. The fear of failure. The doubt in our mind. The resistance to take the step in the direction that God is calling you. Because the obedience can create conflict in my life. There are many things that come up. But can I tell you this? At the end of obedience is a blessing that you cannot access unless you do. Let us not be hearers only. Let us position ourselves to hear. Let us position ourselves to listen. But let us do what we have heard. And I promise you at the end of that, there will be blessings that maketh rich. 
and added no sorrow. We want the fruit of our actions to reflect what God had said to us in our air as we have listened to him in the manifest presence of God. God bless you. Have an amazing week. And I'll see you where God has prepared for his children. God bless you and have an amazing week.